ask you about the second annual Flavors of the Gas Lamp hosted by you. Yes, it's uh, uh, my second year doing this uh, with Eric Allen and Vincent Brown and this year with uh, also with Tyler Campbell. So it, it's such a great opportunity to come down here, not only to, to get all these restaurants, the great restaurants of, of you know, Marina Kitchen, Searsucker, Beach A, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, there, there's so many others down here and and to be able to raise money for uh, you know a cause of MS and and be able to uh, just have a great night it's like I told everybody this week it's about two F's it's about football and food so it, it's a great event to be here when you're out there in the community I don't care whether it's in yours or, or anywhere what's the number one question people want to ask you when it comes to the Chargers um, you know they're always asking about how, how are we doing right now defensively mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I tell them we're doing great things right now. We're uh, we're getting better every day. The coaches, uh, you know, I can't compliment those guys on our staff, the, what they mean to uh, to me and and to the players. But uh, you know, we're putting the plan together. We're 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 way ahead of the schedule than we've been before, and uh, it gives us an opportunity, like always, to play faster. And that's what we want to do, and that's what we're about. What's impressed you so far about your number one draft pick, and that would be Jason Verrett? Well, you know, he's, he, he's been sidelined with the injury, but just his, his right now, his biggest thing is the, the mental aspect of how well he learns and how fast he learns. And, and we've gotten him uh, out there in individual drills now, and you just see how quick and explosive he is with his feet. And he can't do the other things right now but it's it's uh it's it's been very special to get him out there moving another name that keeps coming up from the from the players on your team that i think fans have forgotten about would be steve williams mm -hmm. what, what have you seen from steve williams steve you know steve is uh somebody that was having a great camp last year before he got hurt and he's somebody just like jason that has very uh explosive quick feet i like to refer to those two as uh they have feet like shorebirds like if you did like a shorebird you ever see those birds <laughs> running down by the thing yeah <laughs> Okay, okay. Those quick feet, and yeah. they, they never get hit by the water if the water's coming. <laughs> Run it. That's what they are, and they have unbelievable quick feet. So, it's uh, it's uh, it's been it's been exciting. And you know, Steve was there every day last year. Came on road trips with us, and and, and was a part of it, and was in it all, every meeting, mm -hmm. and really stayed intact because he wanted to hit this thing when he got healthy. Uh, going full speed and and that's what he's done he's been he, he's been great this this uh off season speaking of players that were injured if i had told you last season that you're starting projected four linebackers matt Taiteo, donald butler J jarrett johnson and dwight freeney would not start a single game together what would you have thought um i don't <laughs> like hearing that but it's it's one of those things that you have to deal with you know in the national football league injuries and you know i'm proud of the the guys that stepped up behind them and really started uh really started you know to contribute and play more and then when we got a bunch of those guys back of melvin ingram of Jarrett back healthy of donald and, and manti uh you know what he was dealing with it was it, it was good to uh get them all together playing at the end we like how we finished we liked how we played the last uh eight games of the season and that's that's what we're building off this season i think it's hard for a lot of us to project what manti was or where he's going to be because he was injured last year right. An injury you guys will not tell us about, or you're not going to tell me about, are you? What injury? What? Oh, right, right. right. Um, but are you, I mean, are you expecting very big things from him this season? Which is a ridiculous question, but I have to ask. Yeah, you expect great things from everyone. I mean, I expect him uh, for you know whoever our, our backup left end is. That those are the things that we want defensively. He, it, the sky's the limit for Manti. Manti's a, a like we always say, he's very instinctual. He's very smart, and and when you're uh, not only in your rookie year when everything is moving so fast and you're dealing with other issues that you have to deal with, it, 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 it's hard to even play faster. And I thought he did a, I thought he did a tremendous job last year of, of the time he missed in training camp, the time he missed early in those games, and to, to come out and play live right off the bat, it, it's tough to do. And, and, and I thought he... Uh, I thought he played well, you know, towards the end, like everyone did in those last eight games that we played. Two more questions, and I'll let you get back to this amazing food that's out here. Yeah. You know, when last year when Dwight Freeney got injured, he said that he had no doubt in his mind he was playing football this season. Correct. What are, what are you expecting from him, and are you where is he with, with his progress? Well, you just want Dwight to come back to how Dwight was. I think, you know, what Dwight showed us, er, you know, early in the preseason games and, and, and those uh, first four games that he played in the season, he's still a prolific pass rusher that can put... Uh, 
uh, speed on the edge and, and, and make tackles have to work to block in. And if there's one thing that you don't want to do is, is ever doubt Dwight Franey because <laughs> Dwight Franey's uh, mindset is, is, is very strong and um, he's going to come back from it. Sean Lissamore did a really nice job for you guys at tackle. How, how are you expecting that battle with him and Ryan Carruthers to go ahead and play out? Well, all those guys are in there. Kwame Gether, Sean. We have, you know, we have all three of those guys in the mix right now, and, and they're all working hard. And Don Johnson does a hell of a job with all those guys and, and getting, getting Corey back in the mix with Kendall. But uh, the nose tackle position has been good, and they've been, they've been doing uh, you know, a lot of good things. Right now it's just football and shorts. But, you know, a, a lot of... A lot of camp battles and everything uh, kind of get settled when, when the pads come on. So, uh, you know, we have our football and shorts right now, but come training camp, uh, a lot a lot things come more clearly to see. Before we know it. Thanks yeah. so much for the time. Thank you, Marty.